Hey, welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I want to share with you nonlinear branch flow of my green laser pointer. Check this out. For this investigation, I'm using a glass coaster, a binder clip, a straw. This is a green laser pointer, some Dawn dish detergent, just a little bit of water, a stand with a clamp on it. Okay, so what we're looking for here is branched flow. What does that mean? Well, when light travels through more than one medium, it refracts. And as that medium becomes more dense than air, the speed of light slows down. So when that laser travels through the bubble, that solution, that bubble mixture, causes the light to refract. But since the medium is a regular bubble solution, it doesn't just refract, but it branches off into different directions. And as that propagating wave moves through the bubble mixture, it actually looks like it branches off into little tendrils. That's what I want you to look for in this demonstration. The first step is to create a small slurry of Dawn dish detergent and a few drops of water on your glass coaster. And I just smear this around with my finger like this. And I add, you know, one or two drops of water to it. And again, just kind of smear it around. This is where you're gonna blow your bubbles on this glass coaster. And it just looks like that. Next, in much the same way, I'm gonna create my bubble mixture. I'm just gonna add a few drops of dish detergent a few drops of water. I'm just gonna kind of stir that around a little bit. And that's gonna be my bubble solution. And I'll blow bubbles simply with a straw. Now you're ready to practice blowing some bubbles. Just dip your straw in the solution and try to blow a bubble on your glass coaster right on that slurry that you made. Just like that. Next, you're ready to adjust your laser. Now, what I like to do is take a binder clip that's about the same diameter as your laser pointer. And if it's like this one where you have to hold the button down, you can just take this binder clip and just put it over it. And then that just holds the laser down continuously. And then you're ready to put it in the clamp. And I like to keep this at um, a downward angle so it looks like that and pretty low to the table, maybe a couple inches above the table. Okay, to see branched flow, you want to blow the bubble. So the height of the bubble intersects the laser. So the laser just catches the curvature of the top of the bubble. So what you wanna do is go ahead, turn on your laser and you're gonna blow the bubble until this beam of light just catches the top of the bubble. that branch pattern right there. You can see it branching right there. See a branching right along the top here. See a branching all along the top here. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? branching all along here. 
see it branching out. One rather terrifying application of branch flow are oceanic tsunamis caused by subsurface level earthquakes that send waves traveling off in every direction. Now the surface level waves can travel for hundreds of kilometers, but as they go away from the shoreline, the varying depth of the ocean causes weak refraction that results in bigger and bigger waves. In March of 2011, Japan had a magnitude nine earthquake and that sent ripples off in every direction but again the varying depth as those waves traveled away from the shoreline caused larger and larger waves and researchers say that branch flow is partially responsible for those humongous waves i hope you enjoyed today's edition of ramsey land and i'll see you next time if you enjoyed this presentation be sure to remember to like and subscribe